Hello, welcome in. I am bringing you a reading for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine in a general sense, and this will kick off all the individual zodiac sign readings for the week. But I wanted to be online, I wanted to be um, recording, I should say, while this amazing once in a lifetime planetary alignment occurs at 11:59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's two minutes from right now. It's a planetary alignment of um, Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn, and it forces anything that's out of alignment to fall apart. So it's a big deal. It's a real big deal. And uh, I am reading off some notes. If you want to find where I got these notes, my favorite, I, I have pages and pages. I've been studying this transit because um, this alignment, because it's been something that it's the last time it occurred was 38 years ago. I was 20 years old. And at that time, it occurred in the sign of Libra, which is about balance and fairness, but it's also about beauty. And I made a radical decision to enroll in the Fashion Institute of Technology, whereupon I worked through my degree in interior design. Don't ask me why that happened. It was life-changing. It set me on a different path in my life, completely different from where I started. Uh, I was only 20. Uh, I am not an interior designer, but as you can tell behind me, things like that sort of have stayed in my, in my sphere of existence, and I'm still focused on balance and harmony and beauty, but now I just do it at a soul-to-soul -soul level. So if that gives you a flavor for what may be occurring right now for you in your lifetime, wherever you are, um, I, th I think that it's important that we talk about it. It's happening right now. It is a direct conjunction between Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn. So let me tell you about it. This is going to be about your option of breaking down or breaking through. And maybe for some of us, it involves both. So, you know, you hear the saying all the time, release what no longer serves you. Well, this time it's like, if you don't release it, you will have the tower moment. It will come in and release it for you. So we either go willingly into this transformation. That's what Pluto is about. If you know the death card is about transformation, that's a card of Scorpio, which is ruled by Pluto. And then we also have um, Saturn, which is about responsibility, structure, doing the work, even in the small day-to-day -day stuff. So when you have the small day-to-day -day realities and responsibilities matched with this massive transformation. And, and Saturn can be sort of um, grumpy, you know? Saturn in Capricorn is like dad saying, you know, you need to change, did you rotate your tires, right? Like who's thinking about rotating their tires? That's Saturn in Capricorn energy. And Pluto in Capricorn is about transformation in the 3D wiping out what doesn't align, wiping out what doesn't serve, or you choose to repeat the patterns and that's going to go on for another 38 years. So it says here, uh, by the way, you can find, I, I took all kinds of notes off the internet because I am not an astrologer, um, but uh, I, the one I liked the most was Alex Miles, M-Y-L-E-S. You can find her on Instagram or Facebook and she's got a post up for this, tr this um, transit today, this alignment. But what I like the most about what she said here is um, the Saturn and Pluto connection heightens karmic attraction so it means that whatever we've been putting out in the world is now going to come back to us in magnitude like tenfold you've been putting out crap you're going to get crap you've been putting out good energy you're going to get good energy back so it's time to be prepared for that sort of boomerang effect um, and to allow it to help you sort of realign for the next 38 years <laughs> I know that sounds like, what is she talking about? Yeah, I'm 58. I'm not going to see the next Saturn-Pluto conjunction. It's just not going to happen. So to me, it's very powerful to recognize um, that this is the last time I will see this. But it, the Saturn part of it offers you clarity and wisdom. Uh, where we've previously failed to make sense of things, it'll s start to become clear it's an offer, an opportunity offered to you to dive deep in soul search so you can figure this stuff out, figure out what's been happening, and more importantly, why, right? What have we brought to the party? 
Uh, Saturn also helps us determine where we're placing our energy and whether that's right for us, right? Like, where do you put your energy? If you put your energy to fighting, does, is that serving you? If you put your energy to avoiding, is that serving you? Do you, If you put your energy to, um, I don't know, you know, I'm just trying to help you think of things where you put your energy to scrambling are you always moving the pieces on the chessboard around and trying to scramble and keep everything moving right sometimes that's just exhausting so now we get to look at it and think about why we do that we can only move forward when we understand why we put ourselves in certain situations or become emotionally involved with people who we were not meant to be with long term this is why i am bringing this to you pluto complements saturn's energy it forces us through a deep cleanse to clear out that low vibe energy to um and if we don't do it the universe is going to come in and give us a tower moment and do it anyway so i kind of feel like i would rather voluntarily go through that put myself through it voluntarily and make the choice to clear out what doesn't serve me and what it, and here's the thing um all right we can this 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 is the, the the thing that gets me it says here this is a regeneration period where we'll be purging and eliminating what has fallen out of alignment got it including old beliefs and patterns that's what we talk about in all these readings is are the patterns um intrusive and obsessive thinking right nine of swords eight of swords um blaming and shaming judgments and grudges bad habits limiting fears resentments um one-sided and half-hearted dynamics where like one person is doing all the work and the other person isn't no that's done heavy baggage negative feelings from the past worries about the future things we cannot change things we need we, we that we try to control unrealistic expectations and basically anyone or anything that has already let go of us so think about who's already let go of you who's let you walk out the door it's now time to release that cut that cord be done with it so i feel like that's the message that wants to come through most importantly i know i chewed up some time there but i've been sort of trying to find the smallest <laughs> I've got pages and pages. How can I boilerplate this down for everybody so that, you know, those who are not as interested in astrology but kind of are feeling energy swirling around them, like, what's that about? You just found out what that's about. So now I'm going to pull two cards, one for Divine Masculine, one for Divine Feminine from Energy Oracle. Energy Oracle um, kind of just talks about the energies that you might need to focus on and this is for general divine masculine divine feminine <laughs> wow couldn't i can't even make it up for divine masculine caring connections that's what you need to focus on in this massive astrological cosmic event here saturn and pluto in capricorn here's the work Here's your daily task, caring connections. For, for Divine Feminine, the thinking woman. Mm -hmm. The thinking woman. And I'm going to read these to you. Card number 14 for the masculine. Let's see. One in four is five. That can be about change. Both of these cards are in the upright. This card shows a couple in a tender embrace. With the woman holding the blossoms of new love like the community card this reveals a caring connection but usually between two people only this card upright signals the beginning or deepening of a kindred spirit friendship or even the appearance of new love it can also signify the for a formal business partnership when this card appears be on the lookout for new connections presenting themselves the relationships you already share may become more intimate purposeful or present at this time Notice the opportunities to forge new or deeper bonds. There may be a tender karmic connection at hand. There you go. Divine Masculine. It is about a caring, tender connection. 
with one other person. Can be business partnership, but you know, I'm not feeling it right now. We'll see if that shifts in the general layout of the reading. Um, this is for the collective, for everybody here, and this is going to, going to kick off all the individual readings that I will do for the week. So if, you know, in each of those readings, I'm going to reference this video so you can come back and watch it and see the general energies for Divine Masculine and Feminine, and then I'll go into each of your signs. The Thinking Woman, Upright. For Divine Feminine, this card shows a woman holding a book, standing before a staircase, ready to lead you to higher understanding. This woman could be a friend who helps you express and understand your feelings, or she could be a teacher brought to your life at this time to take you in a new direction. This could also be a new love interest with a woman who is thoughtful, conscious, and aware. So that would be, you know, if you're dealing with a Divine Feminine. Or, like the thinking man, this card could represent a side of yourself that's ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance to the world. If so, find your voice and let your wisdom shine. Perfect energy. Love it. So caring connections and thinking woman. Divine masculine, divine feminine. And now... Uh, I do want to bring you a reading for the whole week, but mainly for this um, Saturn-Pluto conjunction in Capricorn. So we'll just look at, and this is coming from some of your amazing comments have been really liked the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings, where I just left it up to you to decide which part you were playing, which, you know, energy you were inhabiting. So thank you for that uh, comment, and you know who you are. I'm not going to call people out by name here, <laughs> but you know who you are. Thank you for the comment, and um, if you tell me uh, in comments what you liked and what you want, I will, I will listen, and I will give it to you. So let's see. Divine Masculine, hard at work. Divine Feminine, dealing with some unresolved heartache here. And this feels very Saturn Pluto to me. <laughs> okay. Now remember, this is very general. I am kind of looking at past, present, future. There we go. Wow. Oh my gosh. <coughs> There will not be an extended for this. This is the overarching reading for all of your individual sign readings that are coming this week. So I'm just posting this today to set the stage for the energy that we're looking at. This um, Saturn-Pluto can bring about a lot of tumult. I know everybody right now is talking about it in terms of um, global, political, uh, organizations and how everything's going to hell in a handcart. No, Pluto, Saturn, blah, blah, blah. Okay, got it. Been there. Um, but I feel that I want to talk to you about relationship because that's what we talk about here. And if we're looking at our relationships, if we're looking at the soulmate energy, if we're looking at twin flame, if we're looking at um, you know, somebody brand new in our lives, right? And there's if there's conflict or chaos or any kind of a sense of upheaval that may be coming from this cosmic shift, um, you know, I'd, I'd like us to take a closer look at that more so than all the political stuff. You can find that. Just Google it or throw it into the search on YouTube. Lots of people are talking about it. This is about us. It's very transformational. It's altering the phases that we go through. Right. This person, Divine Masculine, is hard at work manifesting something important. There, can't, cannot make it up. So here we go. This is a card of Capricorn, let's say. It's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But let's just say the hard at work is Capricorn. Here we've got the fire and passion of manifesting something important to us. What's important to us? Transformation. There we go. Pluto. Scorpio energy. 
So a big transformation coming in for Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine feels that energy, no doubt about it. Divine Feminine sitting here with the Three of Swords. What is that Three of Swords about for Divine Feminine, please? This is also about amazing possibilities, you know, being open to possibilities we could not have fathomed. Okay. So, again, you know, I was talking about patterns that we obsess about, the things that are out of alignment. And I feel here that there was... Um, divine feminine overall right now the energy is bringing up some heartache this king of cups comes out it is the sign of it's cancer pisces scorpio but more importantly it talks about high vibration love and emotional availability being that it's a king i'm just going to say that i feel that this heartache involves divine masculine energy if you are presently in divine feminine energy then this is referencing the divine masculine. If you're um, if you're a woman and you're divine masculine, then this card is about you. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not about male, female. It's about masculine, feminine energies in which one you're in presently. But here we have the next two cards. We got some obsession and indecision. This is high anxiety and indecision, stuck energy. Look at these two wrists are bound together. There's all kinds of anxiety here that is shared between divine masculine and divine feminine. Divine masculine wants to move on, wants to transform, trying to turn, turn divine masculines back on this kind of energy, this unstuck energy, trying to move, look out on the horizon, working hard at it to transform. So divine feminine needs to loosen divine feminine's grip. See the grip? right there you can't you can't hold love to you some stuck energy here indecision we'll see what divine feminine is undecided about in the past here divine masculine oh four four cups this can either be rejection or rejecting or disinterest holding out for that ace of cups why is Four of Cups here for Divine Masculine? Mm-hmm. Knight of Wands, that's a fast-moving energy. And here's this, <laughs> wow, bottom is temperance, balancing the energies. Right, because there's been sort of Divine Masculine in the past might have been very nonchalant about this connection sort of emotionally disengaged not disinterested but just sort of not understanding the power of what was being offered so i'm going to say that in the past maybe moving more quickly with regard to passion the physical expression of the connection might have been more forward on their mind that's at least what they took action on in the past but they're working hard to change that. There's that eight of pentacles again. And balance the energies. Not only balance them, but transmute it. Remember how I talk about this temperance card as transmutation. You can transmute liquid into gold, like a clear liquid into gold or fool's gold into gold, right? Iron ore into gold. That's what the alchemists used to do. So this temperance energy is sort of like that. It is balancing the energies, tempering them, uh, bringing them to a neutral temperature that can be worked worked with for both. But it's also transmuting something basic into something beautiful. So that's the past energy for divine masculine. For divine feminine, we have the sun. Happiness, success, joy, protected in their vulnerability. That may have led to some heartache. The sun in the past energy for divine feminine, please. Mm-hmm. 
hanged man on the bottom, unconscious motivation here. So in the past, this is what was on Divine Feminine's mind, happiness and total love and emotional contentment. That is nirvana. But underneath, hang, hanged man, holding back, waiting for enlightenment. Waiting for enlightenment before taking the next step. That's why this hanged man shows up here right now as indecision and in the present energy as two of pentacles. Divine feminine is in a holding pattern. Not only indecisive, maybe, <coughs> not knowing the next best, you know, like what's my best option here in the head, but now doing that on the ground. Now looking at the options, not just thinking about it, really sizing it up in 3D. And Divine Masculine seems hard at work here. This is about transformation, but now in the present energy, we have this Page of Wands. Here we have this light, youthful energy of passion, present energy for Divine Masculine, please. Feels like a reset, a reset in the connection. Oh, maybe not. Ten of Swords and the Moon. Okay, the Moon comes out for Divine Feminine in the future here. Um... King of Pentacles is on the bottom, so it is about stability. I feel that Divine Masculine is very much focused on work and stability right now. So this little energy of flirtation, the Page of Wands, a brand new, a fresh start, fresh passionate, fresh creative start after a painful ending. So I sort of feel like if there was an ending between the between Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, remember this general for the collective. So I'm speaking to you now, those of you watching who have gone through this experience, who have had somebody that was in the midst of transforming, something broke your heart, they were disenchanted, disengaged, disconnected, maybe even a little rejecting of the connection. It broke your heart. Uh, who broke your heart? The keeper of your heart, King of, King of Cups, caused a lot of anxiety and indecision now with what do I do next? And the past energy, what did you think you had? Divine Feminine, this is what you thought you were you were working toward. It, it didn't materialize, throws you into this hanged man energy, and now you're sort of juggling realities on the ground. And what is Divine Masculine doing? Trying to reignite the passion. After a painful ending, something stopped, ended, put a fork in it, it's done. you got to be able to pick up and move on. Little fear here. This person is a little fearful. Divine Masculine isn't sure how this new fresh start will be received. It can come out like a flirtatious message, you know, texting back and forth. Just something small, seemingly harmless, um... Um, innocuous and they're a little fearful am I going to be received or am I going to be rejected right and so that's why they're really focused on their stability king of pentacles eight of pentacles comes out twice here this person is very much focused on building their stability this can be in a job. It can be emotional stability. The King of Pentacles is a charitable energy. So giving of self, giving of resources, giving of time, even giving of love. I know that this isn't a King of Cups. This is over here, but still the King of Pentacles is like the, you know, is, is very inclusive, brings people to the table. Compassionate. There's compassion in this sign underlying energy there so let's look now at this two of pentacles for divine feminine in the present energy hold on let me get myself situated that virgo in me i gotta have everything just perfect hey i gotta be me gotta be me <laughs> Two of Pentacles, Divine Feminine, please. Now we have the Magician twice. You guys are really mirroring each other. Moon twice, Magician twice. So I think Divine Feminine is attempting to manifest the decision. Indecision here, 
sizing things up, juggling, keeping all the balls in the air, trying to figure out like, uh, where's this going to land and manifesting their best outcome, having all the tools at their disposal to do so and really relying on that, relying on their intuition. Look what they're working toward here. Ten of Pentacles. What are they manifesting? This is about lifelong stability. This is about lifelong partnership. This card here. If Divine Feminine is trying them, is manifesting this. No wonder there's two of, two of Swords, two of Pentacles. No wonder everything's up in the air. But you eventually have to let all, all of that come down to the ground and deal with it. So I kind of feel like Divine Feminine is trying to manifest their life partnership their stability, what we all work our whole lives to achieve and attain. So that's why this is so important to them. And then we shift into the future energy here for Divine Masculine, totally mirroring Divine Feminine. It takes, to, takes Divine Masculine a minute or two to catch up, but they do. Divine Masculine here in the future, Magician, Yes. Okay, so Nine of Pentacles, maybe still, oh, wait a minute, I think I have it. These cards are very interesting. Five of Swords is like sort of an unfair fight, right? Um, it's not the same as Five of Wands, which is conflict, like outer conflict. This is sort of strategizing. This is calculated. Um, and this is moving the pieces around on the chessboard to suit your agenda to get your own desired outcome sometimes it's using tactics it doesn't have to be anything nefarious it can just be like well if i do this will divine feminine do that it's still a tactic so it is sort of um playing to win at all cost but what happens here is we ne we now have this three of pentacles and that is about working together so we start with manifesting what I think divine masculine is manifesting divine feminine. Nine of pentacles is usually a single woman. Now you don't have to be a woman. If you're, if you're a male and in divine feminine energy, this can still represent you. Somebody who takes care of themselves, has it on lock, you know, just making their way in the world, fending for themselves, paying their own way, paying their bills, doing all the 3D stuff, this night, this pentacles real 3D stuff, but very much an attractor, right? People are just drawn to this energy. And I think Divine Masculine is manifesting this person, which is to me, Divine Feminine energy. Energy, be, be sure you know. And I kind of feel like Divine Masculine is willing to do whatever it takes to win this connection at all cost. This will not serve Divine Masculine well though. Because it takes, you got to work together. Divine masculine, divine feminine, spirit, the universe, whatever you want, all have to come together to co-create what's trying to be created on the sly. You can't game this out. Divine masculine cannot game this out. This has to be done together. So I kind of feel like they're manifesting this energy and they just have to shift their method that's that's good to know see because i'm talking to energy now you know which energy you inhabit in your connection or that you will inhabit if it comes on its path comes on your path you'll notice it when it comes on your path whether you're the yang energy the action divine masculine energy or whether you're the yin the divine feminine allowing things to come toward you right okay divine feminine moon in the future <laughs> there divine feminine shows up and says yep here i am uncertain about the future but i will be in my divine feminine energy High vibration, unconditional love here. But there are fears. There's fear of the unknown. There are things we can't see. And Divine Feminine's just knowing, you know, still going to go forward into that dark void, the unknown, with the fullness of Divine Feminine's unconditional love. High vibration, Divine Feminine energy. Because Ace of Pentacles. Underlying motivation here is this grand stability, this big 
gesture that comes in as if handed to divine feminine by spirit it is a sign of stability in a big way it is uh, moving in together it is exchanging keys to one another's homes it is buying a home together it is doing something where that that proves the stability is real it it's new it's something new and it's big that's what's coming on the pike so you heard it here folks this is there will be no extended reading for this this is general collective energy of divine masculine and divine feminine in this um saturn pluto conjunction uh you, you've probably already been feeling it you're probably feeling it today and you'll feel it for a couple more days uh, but it's big so i wanted to do this kickoff and get it posted for you so you could feel it um, let it percolate and resonate and then i will be starting with i think virgo is up first i don't know if you figured out how my schedule works i go through all 12 signs and then whatever sign was first goes to the goes to the back of the class and the next one steps up and I've just been rotating through that way. So if you know what your sun sign is, you can pretty much figure out when you're coming up. And I post two or three a day, depending on um, how many private readings I have going on. So that's how it works. Sending you all the best, sending you positive energy to see you through this major, major once in a lifetime shift of energies. This is the time to put the head down and do the hard work. This is a time of major transformation, of calling in what you want, manifesting that which you want, giving up old patterns, old patterns, ways of posturing to get what you want, knowing you have to work together. This is releasing the ties that binds you to past heartaches. Yep, it is about making your decision, right? Because if this is what you wanted in the past, it can be yours. You might have to endure some of the unknown, some scary twists and turns. If you stay in high vibration, divine feminine love, this is yours for the taking. Because you're in manifestation energy as well. Here's what you want. Keep your eye on the prize. Thank you all so much. I so enjoy reading for you. And I will be starting the Virgo reading right after I shut down this video. And have a wonderful day. And I'll see you um, during the week. Take care. Bye.